In the headlines, one of Nash County Sheriff's Office's top 10 most wanted fugitives is arrested. Two men face serious charges after they allegedly kept and sold hot items out of a Rocky Mount clothing store. And Rocky Mount police step in right in the nick of time as a local man was putting his girlfriend in the trunk of her car. That's in today's crime report. And a historically black college is proud to say it's the one and only higher education institution in the state that's helping its students aspire to reach higher heights. These stories and more coming up on Newsbreak starting now. From WHIG TV, this is News Break 31. Now, here's Marie Torres. Hello and thanks for tuning in to WHIG TV News Break, your voice in the community. I'm Marie Torres. Several area people make it into our crime report today. First up, one of Nash County Sheriff's Office top 10 most wanted fugitives is arrested. The Sheriff's Office notified us this morning that 49-year-old Archie Smalls was located and arrested by Rocky Mount Police late last week on Boone Street. Smalls had been wanted by Nash County Sheriff's Office for failure to notify law enforcement of change of address by a sex offender. He was placed in the Nash County Jail under a $10,000 bond. This week, police say they arrested a man wanted in breaking into area vehicles. According to Rocky Mount PD, 48-year-old Eddie Lee Silver Jr. was spotted in two locations breaking into cars. Silver allegedly stole items from a 1993 Chevy Camaro on 101 Greenwood Avenue, then another vehicle outside of the Oak Tree Club on Park Avenue. Police say they actually caught him breaking into the second vehicle. Silver was arrested and charged with larceny of a motor vehicle two counts of breaking and entering into a motor vehicle, and two counts of misdemeanor larceny. He was issued a $14,000 bond and was transported to Nash County Jail. We have an update on a case involving sexual assault and kidnapping. Police say over the weekend they arrested this man. He is 35-year-old Reginald Antonio Lawrence. Lawrence was wanted for picking up a 20-year-old woman at a bus stop and driving her to Cloverdale Park to allegedly rape her back in late January. He then dropped her off on Barn Street where she was able to contact police. Lawrence, who faces second-degree rape charges, is being held in Nash County Jail under a $60,000 bond. The victim was treated and released from Nash General Hospital. Another local man faces rape charges. He is 39-year-old Ricky Lee Belcher. According to Rocky Mount Police, Belcher and the victim were acquaintances. They say over the weekend, Belcher sexually assaulted the victim at a home on Baber Court. Belcher left the scene but was apprehended shortly after the incident. He is charged with second-degree rape, second-degree sexual offense, and assault by strangulation. He now sits in Nash County Jail under a $45,000 bond. The victim was treated at Nash General Hospital. Rocky Mount Police step in right in the nick of time. Saturday afternoon, they say that 41-year-old John Blackson Jr. was attempting to put his 32-year-old girlfriend in the trunk of her car after breaking into her home on Cascade Avenue, attacking her and kidnapping her in her own car. Just before the kidnapping, she was able to call police. Officers responded and stopped the vehicle at the 700 block of Nashville Road. The victim was transported to Nash General Hospital for treatment of her injuries. Blackston, on the other hand, was placed in Nash, in Nash County Jail on charges of kidnapping, assault with a deadly weapon with the intent to kill, residential breaking and entering, driving while impaired, and driving while license revoked. He was issued a $40,000 bond and is also under a 48-hour domestic violence hold. An alleged fugitive awaits extradition after being caught in Edgecombe County. Police say 31-year-old Stephanie Rose Sweeting was arrested Friday night while on the 100 block of Y Street. Police say while searching her vehicle, they found marijuana. It was further learned during the investigation that Sweeting was wanted by the Auburn, New York Police Department for a felony probation violation. She sits in Edgecombe County Jail under no bond pending extradition to New York. 
and two men face serious charges after they allegedly kept and sold hot items. According to Rocky Mount PD, with the help of Immigration and Custom Enforcement, or ICE agents, they arrested the men, 22-year-old Ashair Dari and 19-year-old Rabi Alwan, who worked at Street Gear Clothing Store on 1145 Jeffries Road. Items seized at the store included counterfeit shoes, an AK-47, fully loaded magazine clips, and about $2,000. Both were jailed. Dari was charged with counterfeit trademark, violation, and infringement, and is not a legal citizen of the United States. He was not given a bond, and he is being held on a federal detainer. When we return on Newsbreak, a state university is giving students the opportunity to reach the sky. We'll hear more about Elizabeth City State's aviation science program, the one and only of its kind in the state. But first, here's some black history facts. Black History Moment is brought to you by the Solomon Law Firm, specializing in real estate law and criminal defense. Call William Solomon, Jr. Attorney at Law for an appointment at 252-442-0348. The Solomon office located at 121 South Grace Street, Rocky Mill. Here are your black history facts. Frederick Jones held over 60 patents with most of them pertaining to refrigeration. His portable air conditioner was used in World War II to preserve medicine and blood serum. In 1899, African-American golf fan Dr. George Franklin Grant received a patent for the world's first golf tee. Grant, however, never marketed his invention, instead giving the tees away to friends and fellow golfers. At the 2010 Grammy Awards, singer Beyonce Knowles walked away from the ceremony with six awards, the most wins in a single night by a female artist in the history of the event. You waited patiently. Now it's time. Clearance time at Davenport Honda in Rocky Mount. Hundreds of brand new Hondas, all tagged with the year's lowest prices. With savings up to $6,000. And a lifetime warranty on every vehicle. But hurry, because at Davenport Honda, these deals are the one thing that won't last forever. Davenport Honda in Rocky Mount. Your dealership for life. We're your news team bringing it home to you with meteorologist Fred Holtzworth, anchor Marie Torres, sports reporter Edward Green, and Matt Havitt, our studio guy. WHIG TV Newsbreak, your voice in the community. The Country Inn and Suites is your home away from home with a staff that always treats you as family. If you or your church or company has visitors, give them a great Rocky Mount welcome with a special discount on their overnight or extended stay. Not only is the Country Inn and Suites a comfortable place, we'll spoil them with fresh cookies and complimentary breakfast. We are filled with luxuries like an indoor pool, fitness center, and a guest laundry. The business center includes a boardroom, connection to high-speed internet, and catering for meetings is always available. Call me, Donna Vachavis, at 252-442-0500 for a tour and or to set up your corporate rate. You're always welcome as family in the country, country and in suites, rocking out. Welcome back to WHIG TV Newsbreak. I'm Marie Torres. A historically black college is proud to say it's the one and only higher education institution in the state that is helping its students aspire to reach higher heights. Friday, Elizabeth City State University visited the Halifax Northampton Regional Airport in Rock in to recruit high school students. One program in particular that attracted these high school seniors was the Aviation Science Program, the only university program in all of North Carolina state-run universities. We spoke to ECSU's Director of Aviation Science, the, the Aviation Science Program, Dr. Anthony Sharp, to learn more about what the program entails and how students are reacting to it. Well, it's unique because Elizabeth City State has the only aviation science program in the state of North Carolina. We're very proud of that. Uh, students that are interested in an education in aviation uh, and who wants to stay in the state of North Carolina 
uh, have to come to Elizabeth City State in order to earn that Bachelor of Science degree in Aviation Science. So we're very pleased with that. So once someone earns their degree, what does that mean for them? Well, as a uh, graduate in an aviation science program, and because Elizabeth City State offers many options for students, they can go in, in any number of directions. Let me uh, explain that a little bit. Uh, we have aviation management. We have uh, aviation computer science, uh, electronics, uh, avionics. Uh, we have public administration. We have a flight education program, and we use this airplane for that purpose. We also have a space science program, and our newest program is air traffic control. So once the students come to Elizabeth City State, decide to become an aviation science major, they go in uh, one of eight different tracks. And depending on what they select will be the career area that they'll work in as a career. All right, yeah. and today you all are here with students and you're trying to recruit students. Yes. Um, I'm sure that there's a, a lot of, a variety of different students that you really want for this aviation program. Absolutely. Tell us about that. Okay. We're here in Halifax uh, to talk with the students in this area about career opportunities at Elizabeth City State and in aviation as well, aviation science. We know that students uh, throughout the state have had very little exposure to aviation. We're trying to reach them, so we, we, we decided to come to Halifax County's airport and have the students come here where we can talk with them about the university and that they can actually see an airport, visit a terminal building, and visit Elizabeth City State University's Cessna 172 airplane. So did the kids seem to have some fun? Oh, yes, absolutely. Uh, the the uh, inquisitiveness of the students uh, has been wonderful. You know, I, uh, as a pilot, um, you know, deal with aviation and people related to aviation. But when you get students that have no real uh, concepts about aviation, it's just so much fun to talk to them and to see the, the lights go off in their heads about things related to aviation. It's such fun. Okay. Yeah. Now, you all are in this area. Any chance in the, in the future you all will be coming to Rocky Mount? Absolutely. We, I think we're going to sit down. This, this was our first time out giving this a shot seeing how it will work and uh, it's been wonderful of course we were here yesterday uh, we had uh, uh, three schools to come out yesterday uh, we're expecting three or four schools to come out today and uh, we're going to get around the state uh, as the only aviation science program in North Carolina we have a responsibility to get to all parts of the state so we're going to go back uh, do an assessment of this activity and then we're going to sit down and plan to get to places like Rocky Mount and many other places in the state of North Carolina. ECSU is the only university in the UNC system to own its own airplane. Sharp says at the end of the student's freshman okay. year, they would be now, eligible to be a certified oh. pilot, yeah, and at the end of their four years at the university, they would be a certified instructor. Again, Sharp says they are expected to look into recruiting students not only from the Rocky Mount area, but all across the state. As we continue to celebrate Black History Month with you, we, we asked some of our area leaders why Black History Month is so important to them. Take a look. We realize that uh, we of color, we are very intelligent, okay, such as someone that everybody knows like Martha Luther King, Jesse Jackson, you know, and even my wife, she came from a struggling background where she ended up getting her uh, BA, MA degree. So this Black History Month is really something to let the youth know that it's not about color, okay? It's about you knowing what you can do and get the information to allow you to accomplish that that you want to do. And so that's what we really geared towards, to let them know that you can do anything. You put your mind to it and get the proper knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of what you need in order to accomplish that that you want to accomplish in life. One of the most important things about black history is the fact that it does highlight a person that has made a considerable contribution to society. And it gives us, again, to to look at folks that we know have made a bit, big difference in making our whole community much better. Um, it's not, it's, it's a time again to reflect uh, on those that have contributed, but at the same time it gives us a chance of inspiration, a source of strength uh, that we too 
uh, can make a difference uh, given um, we put our minds to it uh, and to appreciate those two that have made and make a big sacrifice. This week we'll once again be highlighting the life of a local black leader, so stay tuned for that. And as we go to break, here are more facts on black heroes in our nation. The parents of actress Halle Berry chose their daughter's name from Halle's department store, a local landmark in her birthplace of Cleveland, Ohio. Track and field star Jesse Owens broke many records at the 1936 Olympic Games in Berlin, including becoming the first athlete to win four gold medals in one Olympiad. Soul singer Aretha Franklin became the first female artist to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. That was in 1987. This Black History Moment is brought to you by the Solomon Law Firm, specializing in real estate law and criminal defense. Call William Solomon Jr. Attorney at Law for an appointment at 252-442-0348. The Solomon Office, located at 121 South Grace Street, Rocky Mount. You waited patiently. Now it's time. Clearance time at Davenport Honda in Rocky Mount. Hundreds of brand new Hondas, all tagged with the year's lowest prices. With savings up to $6,000. And a lifetime warranty on every vehicle. But hurry, because at Davenport Honda, these deals are the one thing that won't last forever. Davenport Honda in Rocky Mount. Your dealership for life. Suites is your home away from home with a staff that always treats you as family. If you or your church or company has visitors, give them a great Rocky Mount welcome with a special discount on their overnight or extended stay. Not only is the Country Inn and Suites a comfortable place, we'll spoil them with fresh cookies and complimentary breakfast. We are filled with luxuries like an indoor pool, fitness center, and a guest laundry. The business center includes a boardroom, connection to high-speed internet, and catering for meetings is always available. Call me, Donna Chavis, at 252-442-0500 for a tour and or to set up your corporate rate. You're always welcome as family in the country, country and in suites, rocking out. Thanks for staying with us. Now here's a look at the days ahead and weather with WHIG-TV meteorologist Fred Holdsworth. Fred? Uh, weather, let's see what's going on out there today. We find it's a little bit cooler than it was yesterday. Our temperatures this morning were cooler than they were yesterday. Our temperature yesterday reached up to 71 degrees. The wind yesterday, though, did not help that temperature. It uh, kind of made it feel cooler than it, than it really was. But hang on, we'll be coming back to those 70s by the end of the week. Let's take a look at our forecast map and see how things are going to be shaping up today. And we have high pressure over the eastern seaboard right through here, a nice ridge of high pressure. This will keep us in a sunny pattern for the foreseeable future, really, as this uh, ridge takes hold. We do have some snow that is going to occur up in northern Vermont, northern New Hampshire, and extreme southwestern Maine. This is in connection with a low pressure system that moved across from the Great Lakes uh, earlier today. Also, we'll see some rain breaking out over the central part of the U.S. from uh, northern Missouri up into central Wisconsin. Also a cold front, this is a cold front that pushed down from the Great Lakes yesterday, brought some high winds to our area, and it is now pushed down into central Florida. 
although no precipitation associated with this uh, cold front. We'll have a warm front that will uh, develop across the uh, deep south and begin to move northward and warm temperatures coming behind it, just a couple of scattered rain areas. And then as we go farther to the west, we'll see a frontal boundary across the uh, Pacific Northwest today. That is causing some snow in the higher elevations and then a strong Pacific storm right off the coast here bringing rain along the coast and snow into the higher elevations of the Cascades and northern Rockies. All right, let's take a look now at our forecast and see what we can expect for the rest of the week and into the weekend. Our high today, 53 with a sunny sky, north wind at 8 miles per hour, partly cloudy tonight with a low of 26 and a calm wind. Wednesday will be sunny with a high of 60, winds will be south 10 miles per hour gusting to 20. Wednesday night, we'll see fog developing late Wednesday night. Skies will be partly cloudy with a low of 37. Winds will be calm. Some fog Thursday morning, then a partly cloudy sky with a high of 66. Southwest wind at 10. Could be gusting, though, up around 25 miles per hour. Thursday night, fog once again developing late Thursday night. Partly cloudy with a low of 45. Fog again on Friday morning, then becoming sunny with a high of 73 degrees. Friday night, partly cloudy with a low of 45. A little bit cooler on Saturday with a sunny sky, a high of 66, and a low of 34 on Saturday night. Our high temperature yesterday, 71. Our low this morning was 35. And that's a look at your Rocky Mount weather right up to the minute. Thanks, Fred. And thank you for tuning in today to Newsbreak. Join us Thursday as we continue to bring you news that's impacting our community. For WHIG-TV, I'm Marie Torres. We'll see you next time.